Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst, I'm Carl Berg. Today we're gonna to be having a look at Bitcoin. So as we know, Bitcoin has been smashed from pillar to post really since um, the end of 2021. Although in overnight and in recent days, and even in recent weeks, we've started to see a pretty strong level of resistance um, with Bitcoin especially with regards to, um, compared to the rest of the market. So as the Dow, uh, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, other growth assets have started to struggle, we've seen some pretty strong resilience in Bitcoin and that actually manifested um, last night with a mini breakout. So let's just have a little bit of a closer look at Bitcoin and see what kind of trades we can have. So we are looking at Bitcoin, um, the USD, which is a pair, of course, you can just trade Bitcoin itself and potentially Bitcoin and Ethereum but we're just gonna begin with this. So the first thing we, we've seen is that although we've had a long downtrend on the weekly, we start to saw a break of this trend really, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, towards the start of the month or the end of September. So we've got this little point here where we've actually been able to um, you know, break through this trend line, um, which is a really positive sign that perhaps we've the, reached the bottom. In addition, this support at about, we'll call, we'll make, actually we'll make this into a zone or more so than an actual point. Just bear with me guys. Um, so as we can see here, we've got this really strong level of support that's, and Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin so far has just not been able to get through. So here we've got this strong level of support. That's the first point. In addition, what we can see is that our 200 period moving average is steadily, it's not um, going down, but it's also not going up so fast. So it's kind of just plateauing whilst the 50 period is still coming down. Secondly, we can see that the RSI on the weekly has begun to start, um, it's bottomed out and it's actually um, diverging with the price, which is a potentially good signal. So that's our weekly chart, just to give us a, a rough idea of where we're at. Next levels of um, resistance are at 25,000, um, 25,000, 30,000 um, as well. We can probably just bring this up a little bit. It's very wiki, 30,000 to 25,000. So those are our short term kind of targets. And then of course, we've got these much bigger targets, one at 48,000. And then of course at the peak at about you know, 60 to 70,000. So that's our long-term outlook. Now as we move into the daily chart. So once again, we're just gonna point this long-term trend line down again, just so we can see where we're breaking out from. And we're gonna zoom in. So as I stated before, we've got this really strong green wick. Let's just rescale this so we're not looking at the volume. And this is our short term kind of um, range that we're working in. So we've been testing out this level at about 18,000, haven't been able to break through, and also between 25,000. And we've just been chopping really, chopping up and down, chopping up and down. This signal here on some pretty significant volume is a really solid sign. And it follows in line with three days of green on the US indices. And the hope is that, well, if we see, we've actually got some pretty good short term targets. So we've got one at 22,000 and then also at 25,000. And we can probably set our, we can set a pretty decent stop loss. Just put it below this, these bottom wicks. Perhaps make it a little bit smaller, just about here. And we've got a two to one ratio. Bring this down a little bit. And this is about where potentially we might see a decent trade. So the hope is that, okay, well, we've bottomed out, we're starting to see some positive sentiment, and this is our short-term target. However, looking longer term, and what we might be able to see is that we, we are starting to emerge potentially with a strong double bottom pattern. So if we can, sorry, just bear with me, push back up through here, we'll have one, two, and the neckline at 25,000, it may be significant of a much longer term reversal. But as I said, some really solid signs on Bitcoin. First target um, also is probably here at about 20,320. 
which are approaching now. So if we're able to get through, we might see some really solid signs. Of course, we are um, relying on the rest of the market being having positive action and some positive sentiment to come out of the US market specifically. But very exciting um, or potential trading opportunities on Bitcoin. Um, so guys, look out, keep an eye on Bitcoin, and thanks for watching and good luck trading.